patient with a known history of liver cirrhosis presents with hematemesis and hypotension. What's the most likely cause? Would it be A, peptic ulcer disease, B, esophageal varices, C, gastritis, or D, Mallory Weiss tears? So we have vomiting blood. We can go ahead and roll out C of gastritis, and that leaves us with A, B, and D. Now we're looking at that the patient is hypotensive and they have liver cirrhosis. Because of that, there is only one really good answer here, and that is esophageal varices. Let me explain what this is. So in your venous system, there's nutrient-rich blood that's coming from our spleen, our stomach, our intestines, and it has to go through a system called the portal system through the liver. Now, the problem with this patient in particular is that they have cirrhosis of the liver, meaning that they have scarring. And this scarring can cause problems with the blood vessels themselves. Now, the problem that we're talking about is what we call portal hypertension. And there's an increase in pressure inside of those blood vessels. Well, what happens in that case is blood starts to get backed up and blood's trying to get pushed into one direction towards your heart. Because remember, it's in the venous system. And what happens in this case is there's some collateral veins at the base of your esophagus that start to get engorged with blood. And understand that these blood vessels are not meant to take on high pressures. And once those blood vessels rupture, this is known as an esophageal varices, which can be extremely dangerous and this patient could bleed out internally. This is what we would see with a liver cirrhosis with hematemesis and hypotension. So again, the answer is B.